Hey, this is Dee Dee with My Favorite Groomer. Uh, thanks for being on my YouTube channel. I have a client who just walked in. I've never met her before. And she's telling me a little story about fleas. I want to capture this and I'm going to give her some advice on it. Okay, so um, you're telling me uh, you live in an apartment complex. Yes. I'm brand right new, right? Brand new build. I'm going to kind of recap. Uh, brand new build. No one's ever lived in it. But you found out it was built on land where cows were at. Um, every time you and your kids walk outside, you get fleas. Yes. Flea bit, you can tell. Socks. The kids are like, something's biting me. My mm -hmm. socks are biting me, but it was Please. for sure. Like for, for positive, sure. Yes. So you have a Shih Tzu, you're out there walking your Shih Tzu and your Shih Tzu has fleas. Like, yes, like about, I say we moved in in August and the 20th of August, the 1st of September, he was scratching. So I thought, you know, maybe his skin is dry. So I took him to uh, a self ba bathing place at like a PetSmart or whatever, gave him a bath. And 50 fleas popped off. Of wow, it. you're not exaggerating. I'm not, no, I'm not, and 50 may be an underestimate. Right. So 50 fleas, fleas popped off of him, and then I realized he, it's fleas, that's why he's scratching. And he's a long haired Shih Tzu, so it's, you know, it's very difficult to see the fleas. All right. So after I gave him a bath and everything, then I realized what the problem was. And then shortly after that, about a week or so after, he started eating at his skin because by this time he's just crazed by. By, by, by being bitten and he's never had bugs before never right so this this you moved into that apartment october 2006 august, august 2016 mm -hmm. um here in texas yes. so august 2016 she moved into these apartments in december you're still fighting battling it yes but okay now my daughter my 17 year old daughter has been treated medically treated for um we're going on the third month for her you what do you you took her to the doctor? She's yes, having issues. Skin. Uh, neck In, up. Inflaming. Yeah, her whole face inflamed. Um, looks like a sunburn. Um, red peeling skin, uh, bleeding. Are they biting her face? Or they're biting her no, body? But biting that's what it's reacting. Body, but only. What, the only part that's being uh, reacting affected, right yeah, is like the neck up and kind of like in here too okay but in her does, arms and stuff okay yeah but she does have eczema i also have, have eczema. but it's this is enhancing the problem yes because right. our skin is already compromised okay and from this flea bite and we could tell that where the the bite you're you're happened. pointing down here um, like they yeah, are on you she but had, biting she had one on her um on her like right by, above her knee okay and uh i had one uh on my back flea I, bite yeah, so it's a little bite. bump. You could feel it. Yes. It was it's irritating. I actually burn. saw the flea before I realized what happened to me. Oh, I right. saw the flea, you know, getting ready to shower or whatever, and it had you know wow under, underclothes on. on you. So I could see the oh, black no, no, flea no. on the white clothes. Right. Clothes. And then I was like, oh my gosh, that's a flea. Didn't realize I had been bitten yet. But on uh, Christmas Eve, December twenty fourth, two thousand sixteen. Two thousand sixteen. I started breaking out in a rash, and I'm like, you know, it's Christmas, it's the holidays, I, maybe I'm stressed. I thought maybe it was just like, like a heat, prickly heat or something okay. like that. Because it started with my ears, my neck, uh, and all my uh, eyebrow, you know, like right in your okay. eyelids and everything. And, uh, and it just continued to get worse and worse and worse. I was trying to use uh, Benadryl, taking it by mouth and everything. Nothing was helping me. And at night, it was even worse. Okay. And so then I had to put like cold, cold cloths in the freezer to try to wow. get some relief. Wow, right. Yeah, and my face was swollen. My ears were swollen. And I was telling you like Dumbo wanted to see right. because they were, it was that bad. My wow. My ears were so huge. Wow. And, um, and then from there, my daughter um came down with starting to feel uh irritated and itchy and red and rashy and inflamed so bad to where she couldn't go to school brought her to the pediatrician couldn't tell us what was going on and i even explained my similar situation thinking that maybe we had something that was contagious okay okay so they treated her nothing helped we kept going back again until they finally gave us a steroid, hydrocortisone creams, uh, and things like that. And they even tested her skin. Okay. Um, and came back. No. Nope. Nothing. Right. So um, we told them, could it possibly be a flea? They weren't really sure, but they gave us medications that helped. And she's getting better now. But it's still dealing with it three months later. Because the apartment complex you're in, brand new, doesn't want to treat. They're doesn't not, want to do the treating you know, of the whole of the property, land. Yes, right. Or the premises. And then it was extra, it's extra for you to pay for them to treat the flea problem in your apartment. Right, for the exterminator to come and treat my apartment, okay. I have to pay an additional $40 because we get uh, free exterminating like every quarter. Right. But they don't cover fleas. Okay, so an extra so, 40 Right. And I've been, per month or per year or what? Um, this was each time. Okay. And how um, many times did you that, pay that to do that? Every time that I do, that I pay it, it's still like under a 30-day warranty. Okay. Okay. 
and they had to come back a, a, a second time within the I 30 days was, yeah because it was you could see them in your car where could you see them um vacuuming and then they're in the bag oh gosh and then um the are dog, they jumping around you can yes. see it moving. Yeah, and you know, you, you can't catch those little birds. No, they jump 12 <laughs> inches at a time. I have yeah. a, I have other videos, and it's unreal. These you things are... You catch them. No. Nope. And then in carpet, how can you see them? You can't. And so can't. they were getting into the kid's bedroom. You know, they're all over. Um, and we don't wear our shoes in the house. We're, I'm very particular about shoes not being worn in the house. So, but they're still coming in on our socks. Right. Um, if you have, um, you know, your slippers, you want right. the dog, because we have to take the dog out. Mm -mm. And so every time the dog comes back in, we are just going through him, you know, with a fine tooth comb, trying to find it. And you can literally see them all at his paws. Right. You know, and trying to, oh, they, gosh. Because they hitched a ride now. Right. And the problem that I'm having is I've spoken to the uh, management so, several times about my concern about the fleas because I'm telling them we have a new beautiful property we're gonna have an infestation yes. before you realize it they already do and they tell me myself and one other person are the only ones complaining okay who hasn't has a dog and I said well some people may notice that their pets are scratching but don't know why or don't care right you know to know why and so now I'm at a I'm at a crossroads where do I move my lease is up in in August do I move do I stay and I love my apartment it's beautiful I have a three bedroom but what are that. you paying for in that medical problems yeah flea I, mm -hmm. flea fees paid a thousand dollars already for the dog the time it all you can't get your time back no. Taking the ch children to the medical care, all that. No, I can't get the time back. Plus, you know, I'm a, I am love my animals, okay? My Shih Tzu is um, 10 years old now. He's never You don't want him struggling at 10. He's a senior, bugs. yeah. I've never had a problem with that. Right. And now, it's like, he's almost like going cuckoo. Right, you know? it's driving him nuts. It's driving him nuts. Of course. And he's sleeping with a cone. I have to keep a cone on him. Why was the cone? Hours. We talked about that off camera, but um, he's allergic to the flea bite, so yeah. his skin is inflamed. Right. And so uh, you've taken him to the vet. Mm -hmm. Took him to the vet. Got what you needed, medicines and stuff mm -hmm. like that, but now he's got this raw back, which I can tell you why. He, From the, his tail that's right. up to the middle of his back. He literally ate it raw. Right. But the fleas can also eat it raw because there's parts of that tail area the dog can't reach. And that's okay. why the fleas love that area. Mm -hmm. Every dog that comes in with massive reach. fleas, mm -hmm. they can't reach. So it's really red there and raw. Mm -hmm. And the bites will cause that inflammation and then lose hair. So he, yeah, it's not that he pulled it off, right? Mm -hmm. So that hair will come back once those fleas are gone. But as long as those fleas are there, it's not going to go anywhere. But you're saying he's got a cone. You went to the vet. You've got All the right. flea. Yeah, yes, you have the flea stuff, but this is insane. Yeah, it is. And it's just not... It's not a problem that I feel that it's going to go away and stay away because right. the, the property still needs to be treated. Right. I'm treating my apartment. You can't me. just I'm do you, everything. though, because it's gonna you're going to go right back outside and bring him right back in, right? you got to bring him out to go That's to the right. bathroom. And every single time he goes out, we, he comes back in and he's got maybe one or two. And so I've no. got, I've got mm -hmm. the flea collar going on, the reflective flea collar. So they're still getting on him, right? Still getting on him. Okay. And I've got... Um, you know, the, the um, flea ointment that you put from the back all the way to yep. the neck. I got that going on. They're still getting, getting on them. Stuff by mouth. And they're still getting on it. Yeah. Now, so, they may get, it's true. They're, they're, I think that they're getting sick while they're on him. Right. But they're still getting on him. Right. So, how many bites do they get before they die? Right. You know, so he's still being uh, re-affected by the itchiness, the right. rash. Every now day. his skin is so flaky. Oh, it's gosh. flaky, flaky, flaky. So right. I'm taking him every week, sometimes twice a week, so I can bathe him. Because I had to have all his hair shaved. I had to have him completely shaved off so that we could better see the fleas. Right, right. Um, and so I and try to eliminate them getting a hold on that long hair to yeah. get a ride in. Just trying your best on trying. that. Yeah. But it's impossible. And it was winter. So I had to keep a coat or a jacket on him, too, because it was cold. I had shaved him off. And then I was also, like, um, you know, trying to keep him, um, not only trying to keep him warm, but trying to make it difficult for him to gnaw at his body. Right, right. And so now he wears a coat. He wears a cone. And, you know, it's like punishment for the dog. I mean, at 10 how years long old. can he be like mm -hmm. this? And mm -hmm. he's still puppy-like. He's a shit, so you know they, they right. act like a puppy forever. Right. But um, but he thinks he's being punished now because we're never taking it off. Right. And as soon as I try to take it off, he will bite again. So that's and chew himself up again. So right. we're trying to repair that situation. Exactly. So why I came in today, your lovely shop that you have here. <laughs> Look at my I shop. I want to see if I could possibly find an outfit 
that will kind of keep him covered a little bit more so that I can give him some relief to take it. It's horrible. Off. Just horrible. Okay, so I'm going to take over here and just kind of chit chat with you guys. So, first of all, I want to tell her um, there's a couple things I'm going to recommend that she does. Uh, if I were her, I would move. And I'm a realtor. I would move. Um, because even if she waits another year, um, and that's, uh, let's just say that field was cows and horses for 30 years. I mean, and what they dug up or just, they came in and built this new property. It's, it's just fresh. It's fresh land. And if the apartment complex is not willing to like um, spray, mm -hmm. uh, what if I told you flea eggs can last up to three years without hatching? They just huh? decide. Uh, you see that face? <laughs> huh? What? No. Flea eggs can last three years before they hatch. Up to three years. So if, if a dog walks in here with fleas, I can see a live flea, but when I shave it and, and eggs drop wherever that dog was walking around, mm -hmm. it may not hatch today, and it may not hatch next year, and it may not hatch the next year. It might hatch the next year. That's why I have flea chargers. They're cra my flea chargers are crazy. Okay, okay y'all know that. Um, and that's because what comes into my salon to, mm -hmm. may stay here a long time and it may not infest today but it sure. might infest next year and if any dog walks in here i don't want any do right would you mm -hmm. want your dog getting fleas no i wouldn't want any dog getting fleas under my facility so that's why i'm a pain in the butt with that um i would move if i if my lease was up in august all the money you're going to spend mm -hmm. and fleas can give health problems not just well, minimal you have them. yeah you have them but you have minimal you have the ones you can see mm -hmm. So what about ones you can't see? Right. What about ticks that uh, carry Lyme disease? And if they, if there's mm -hmm. fleas, there's probably ticks. And mm -hmm. if you got ticks, then you might, your dog might get Lyme disease. And now what do you? You right. might get Lyme disease. What are you and facing I have then? Babies, and then my babies are getting bitten. A right. One year old, That's not okay, old. right? So health is important. And so this video is. I'm actually doing this really for her because I'm like, let me capture this. It'll educate you guys a little bit. I want to call myself a flea expert because I've been studying fleas for 13 years, but um, I would move. I would send this video to the apartment complex. I'm not going to blast them, mm -hmm. but as a human being, I would be like, what? You're, you're, you've been to the hospital? I would yeah. be an apartment complex spraying that baby down. If it took like one month of everybody's rent to spray the whole facility exactly. down, mm -hmm. I would do it because now you're going to have people leaving um, because of the health of their dogs and their people. If the, if the fleas are jumping on the people, it's pretty bad. Yeah. So something else that you can do is you take a, a white towel Fleas love the color white. They do. You take a white towel with your video camera. Take your daughter okay. out there. Or okay. white socks, whatever you want to do. Take a white towel, go throw it out there on the grass. Like, boom, throw it there, recording it. And then you pull it off. Be like, okay, in 30 seconds, we've got one, two, three, four, ten, th you know, however many fleas. And capture that I'm on video. just talking about it. <laughs> capture that on video. Because what I used to do in my salon before I learned, um, before I took a class on spraying for fleas and how to capture fleas under the consumer's way, mm -hmm. because I want to buy stuff I can sell to someone like yourself right. for your home. Mm -hmm. I'm not certified or licensed in the state of Texas to do pesticide chemical mm -hmm. control. Okay. You have to be to use the real strong stuff. Mm -hmm. So I can buy over the counter and, and know how to educate you on it, right? Okay. Yes. But there's stuff I can't buy but without a license. And you don't want to because it can kill something, you know? Okay. And sometimes it could kill your dog. So you know who you're talking to. But before I was doing the sprays, mm -hmm. I actually was in a salon um, in a little warehouse. No mm -hmm. one knew I was there, just referrals. And a dog, two dogs came in. They were street dogs. A guy picked them up. Uh, another groomer referred them to me. Mm -hmm. They were cavaliers. They came in with about 2,000 fleas. Oh my. I was like, oh my gosh. I had to shut down the store uh, after those dogs. And after, uh, be right with you. Uh, you can come in, but I'll be right with you. So I had to shut down the store. Um, Two, we're talking, I'm not even exaggerating. There were about 2,000 fleas on two dogs. I believe it. And I was like, I have to shut down the store. So I sprayed that. I didn't spray that night. I didn't have the stuff. But I threw out a towel. I just sprayed with Adams around the border of the inside of the facility. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the next morning when I came in, there was like 50 fleas on the white towels. And I could see how many fleas were in my salon. And that next day, I went down to a distributor and I got education and I got the flea sprays that I need. So... Um, I would recommend you move. Mm -hmm. I would recommend you use this video, another okay. video with the towel to mm -hmm. show your, you know, apartment complex. Mm -hmm. I would be a little proactive. I would be talking to people in my apartment complex and I'm I would say, what's that. your name? Are you having a flea problem? And okay. write down their name and their apartment number. Okay. And then turn that in and just say, look, I want out of my lease early mm -hmm. or look, here's the data. Like mm -hmm. I've been talking to people. It's not just two people, just me and you having right. a flea problem mm -hmm. out of like 500 people on this apartment. There's got to be more mm -hmm. things. 
I would normally tell you to buy this, um, this other stuff. It's called bifenthrin. Okay. So what I sell for fleas is you can do Capstar. Capstar is a 24-hour pill. It kills okay. fleas, all the fleas on the dog in 24 hours. It's awesome. Okay. But it's just a 24-hour fix. So Capstar for small dogs, Capstar for large dogs. You can do Frontline every 30 days. It's going to work, but in her case, it might not. She's got... I bet she has fleas that are immune to some of the product that we use. I think so. Because they sound like um, very a super flea. Mm -hmm. That's what they sound like to me. Super. super. That means that they're, um, so the flea was born, the babies, the babies, babies, all are immune to whatever chemical they were using okay. prior. So let's just say that farmer was mm -hmm. spraying something out there mm -hmm. and those fleas were immune, immune, immune. So now you have to break the cycle with a different product. Okay. okay, something bigger than you. You know what right, I mean? Right, right. Um, the next thing is you have Adam's flea and, flea and tick collars. They're great. They're great deterrent, but they're still going to be there. They're not going to go away completely. Yeah. Okay, you already. I'm using she it. has a flea and tick collar, and they're still getting on. Um, and then for the house spray, indoor outdoor house spray, I use bifenthrin. And this is something I can sell that you can go buy at like a, a feed store or Home Depot or whatever. And this is diluted down two ounces per gallon. Okay. And I.